With double XP about to start, here's 5 ways to take advantage of the brand new extended AFK timer. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. The only way to enjoy a doubled logout timer is to be using a Jagex account. If you don't have a Jagex account yet, use the video I linked in the description below to convert your account to a Jagex account if you wish to do so. Fort for in free is now the best way to train construction completely AFK with XP rates going beyond 850k at level 99. Yes, those rates don't even consider double XP, so it could be double that if not more with XP boost. In case you didn't know, you can reinforce, aka rebuild your buildings as often as you want for consistent AFK construction experience. Buildings can easily take over 10 minutes to build while AFKing, meaning you won't have to worry about being inefficient when you go to make yourself a nice cup of tea. High XP and AFKness do come at a cost though, as each building will set you back a considerable amount of money in wooden frames. Mining might just be the most afk -able skill in RuneScape, as you can essentially mine forever if it wasn't for the mere 10 minute logout timer. As you might know, mining features a stamina mechanic, meaning AFK does significantly lower your experience per hour on normal rocks. You can, however, increase your AFK experience by using a combination of two items, being the perfect juju mining potion and stone spirits, relevant to the tier of rock you're mining. With these two items in your mining arsenal, you will gain full stamina every time you use a stone spirit, so every time you gain an orb. And you even have a 10% chance of obtaining some stone spirits while using that potion effect as well. Oh, and don't forget to bring along some porters to auto bank your ores. Mining Koroks isn't the only AFK activity you can do related to mining though, as mining on the arc can also be very AFK, although not 10 minutes AFK at a time AFK. Nevertheless, doing skilling activities on the arc can be incredibly good AFK experience for multiple skills, including fishing, woodcutting, and divination. While a new skill is nearly upon us, perhaps consider grinding out the latest skill until necromancy releases called Archaeology. Archaeology is a skill that will benefit your account in many ways, including powerful relic unlocks to provide buffs for both combat and skilling purposes. Once you get to the high levels, Archaeology can become very afk -able, assuming you have a few items with you to make it very AFK. The Auto Screener is a level 67 invention item that turns soil into materials to then bank using the other useful item being Portage charges. Signs of the porters can be used to automatically bank items, and if you have a grace of the elves, you'll be able to add 500 charges to a single item, allowing you to AFK away. Alternatively, you can use items like dwarf weed incense sticks or the premier artifact to get a similar effect. It's worth noting that if you use the premier artifact in combination with porter charges, you'll simply be using less charges per hour. At the higher levels, if you're completely AFKing, and even if you're using a cosmic accumulator, you'll be able to AFK for more than 5 minutes until you're interrupted by an artifact being dug up. Smithing can be incredibly AFK by right-clicking any anvil, opening the smithing interface, and then beginning multiple unfinished smithing projects. You can quite literally fill up 27 inventory slots and have them smithed in order without doing anything in between other than keeping your account logged in every 10 minutes. Now if you don't yet have the level to start unfinished items at high heat, you will have to heat up every single item individually, but if you do, it's a very quick process to fill up your entire inventory and then start smithing AFK. It's best to do this with low progress items such as gloves and boots, as you'll notice you won't be running out of heat all too quickly when smithing and upgrading these unlike something like play bodies. Using things like the super heat form prayer to improve your progress made per strike even when your heat is dropping when AFKing hard can be useful. Another useful item is the advanced smithing auto heater which can heat up your items automatically while consuming some coal. It's unlocked by spending some dungeoneering tokens to upgrade the base smithing auto heater which is also obtained from the same dungeoneering reward shop. Now combat might not be your first choice during a double XP event but that extended logout timer can come in handy in multiple combat situations. It's now far easier to AFK the Arctic Laser with 0-1 mechanics turned on for charms. If you're doing a Slayer task for which you know there's very little to no risk of dying, AFKing is now far easier, especially if the monster is aggressive or you're able to use a cannon to aggro the mobs. In case of a non-aggressive creature, using aggro overloads is now extra effective when combining them with either Lantanime Instant Sticks, which turn a 6-minute potion into an 8-minute long-lasting potion, or using a Potion Reservoir. Potion Reservoirs, which require 
require 112 invention to create automatically drink your potions for you just before they run out, making AFK combat incredibly laid back. As a bonus mention, we have the Dream of Io, an area unlocked after the Sins of the Father mini quest and the Extinction quest. This area is a solid way of AFKing in multiple skills, including Horblore, Fishing, Fletching, Hunter, Construction, and Crafting, and an experience rate of 380k an hour, starting from level 75. The only reason this is a bonus mention is because the amount of XP you can gain per month is bottlenecked by your Anachronia base camp workers and resources as you use resources to recharge these skilling stations. But nevertheless, it's incredibly AFK and absolutely worth a mention. Now, there are some more unethical ways of using your extended lobby timer, but I think I'll leave those to the imagination. Good luck on your double experience grind.